Hi guys, good morning. How are we all doing? It's Beyond here and I am back with you with another video. And it's an interesting video, one that I want you to take deep consideration and see if there is any benefit in the information that I'll pass on to you and you and you today okay and so in today's video you know i just get straight into it so in today is a video guys we want to talk about three three yes one two three reasons why your hair might not be growing and so guys i want you to Analyze your hair as we go through this video and see how much this video will be able to benefit you. Okay, guys? And so we're going to look at three reasons, three reasons why your hair might not be growing and three suggestions as to how we can fix that. Okay, guys? And so first, we want to look at your scalp, the scalp of your hair. Why are we looking at the scalp of your hair? Because it's very crucial when it comes to hair growth. If your scalp is not healthy, you will not have healthy hair. And because we all, all want healthy hair, we are going to ensure that our scalp is in the best shape possible in terms of health to give us that healthy hair that we are looking for. And so one such thing that might be affecting our hair growth as it relates to our scalp is that we are not getting enough blood flow to our scalp in terms of blood circulation. And so that's why we always talk about massaging to get your blood flowing so you have um, fresh blood flowing to your scalp so that your hair can get the nutrients that it needs. So that's one reason. If you're not having good blood flow to your scalp, to your scalp, then that can affect your hair growing. If you have inflammation on your scalp, that can cause your hair to not grow. If you have like alopecia or psoriasis, those are some of the stuff that can cause your hair not to be growing and even dermatitis so i want to suggest to you if you have any of these conditions you're going to want to find a dermatologist so that they can a dermatologist or a tri trichologist so that you can better determine what's going on with your hair and how they're further able to help you so that you can possible achieve hair growth okay guys and within that healthy scalp i'm i haven't moved on yet we're still at number one we want to ensure that our iron level is where it needs to be if your iron level is not where it's supposed to be then you are going to experience more shedding of your hair than retention of your hair so you want to ensure go to your doctor get your tests done and ensure that your iron level is at its optimal so that you will not experience more shedding than retention of your hair okay guys and then we're going to move on to number two yes we are at number two 
And so number two, we want to look at retention. So we know that our hair always grow, but the way we manage is, the way we manage our hair can affect our hair retention, guys. So you might have your hair in protective style for a period of time and you recognize that you have some growth. However, when you take down your hair, you're not seeing the growth. Reason being in the, the takedown process, if it's not done correctly, then you will not see that your hair indeed grew. Okay, guys? So one of the things you need to bear in mind is your taking down process. And you need to prep your hair when you're going to take it down. So how, how I prep my hair, like as I can show you my hair, is in protective style. And this will be in there until about March, somewhere there. Just before I take it down, I'm going to prep my hair. What I'll do, I'll do a hot oil treatment first. After doing, I'll wash it, do a hot oil treatment, and I will do a deep conditioner on it. And then I will moisturize it, leave, put in my leave-in conditioner, okay? And then on the day that I decide to start taking down my hair, this is when I am going to use my moisturizing butter that I made. You can go on my channel and you'll find that butter. I use that to saturate my hair completely. And each time I take out a plait like this one, if I'm going to take it down, I get the butter and I coat it with, with the, um, I get the butter and I coat my, this entire plait with it. And then I'll start to take in down this. What that will do, it adds a little moisture and it also help with slip so that when I'm taking it down, the hair is not dry and get tangled with each other, but that moisture will help the hair strands to glide on each other so I don't have any tangles. And so you have to be mindful on how you handle your hair, because if you don't, then you won't see the growth taking place. You will just break off at the end, at the ends of your hair, you break off the ends, and then what you grew here translate to the length because this is now gone. So it's like your hair never grew. Okay. So you want to be mindful. You want to be gentle. Don't take your hair down in a rush, guys. Make sure you have some time when you're doing your hair so that you don't have to manhandle your hair and when you manhandle your hair you're gonna suffer breakage and hence your hair is gonna always be in a position it looks like it's not growing is that the case no that's not the case the case is because of the handling of your hair so get it right guys and you will be fine okay all right let's run on to number three yes guys we are at number three so number three, we want to talk about hormones. And now we want to talk about hormones. And we're specifically going to talk about, um, I think, three types of hormones. So let's look at estrogen. I Have you ever seen a pregnant mother, somebody who is pregnant, and when they're pregnant, their ear is just flourishing and it's growing and, it, and it's healthy. And... One of the reason is um, you're taking um, different vitamins, um, prenatal vitamins when you are pregnant. And so that helps with your estrogen level. It heightens your estrogen level. And when that happens, you get, you see your hair growth um, just growing, growing and growing. But after the baby is born, 
the mother would normally suffer from postpartum where their hair start to fall out. And that's because the hormone now is trying to go back. The hormones within the body is trying to go back to its normal level. And so you start losing your hair. And so, um, so in, and also in, in menopausal women, um, their estrogen level goes down and the antigens level goes up. When that happens, a lot of women in their older age, in the menopausal age, you find that they're losing their hair. And one of the reasons is because of that hormone. The antigen levels um, goes up and the estrogen levels decrease. And when that happens, you can lose your hair. So you want to make sure that in the menopausal stage, you're taking your vitamins and your, um, your nutrients. You want to ensure that your nutrients are at tip top shape. You want to consult your physician so that they can further educate you as to what you can do in order to have those hormonal levels, um, balanced out so that, um, you will not suffer from losing your hair when you're at that um, period of life. Um, for the, for the postpartum mother, I would say, um, don't just stop taking your vitamins after having your baby. You want to continue taking your vitamins and slowly wean yourself from these, um, prenatal vitamins. So you won't just lose your, your hair, um, suddenly, but when you, you slowly wean yourself off and you ensure that your nutrition is up there, then you, um, are able to not lose your hair. You might lose some, but you won't lose a significant amount and keeping your moisture routine and your protein treatments that also will help you um keeping your hair and not losing all of it and for um women menopausal women um one of the thing i recommend is pumpkin seed i've i use pump, pumpkin seed myself in my hair oil that i make for my hair because um it's very nutritious for your hair and it also blocks the hormone dht that is known to cause baldness in, in humans. Okay, guys, so this is a little short video for you. And the next thing I want to suggest is, guys, um, massage. If you can, do it every day. Do it four times for the week. And you will see great result having... Um, Apply your oils to your hair and moisturizing your hair and do a massage. And you, within your massage, you can use, um, oils, essential oils like tea tree oil, rosemary oil, um, clove oil. And you can apply that to your scalp and you can massage it. And when you massage your, your hair, it encourages fresh blood to flow to your scalp and when fresh blood flows to your scalp it's carrying nutrients and oxygen all of those good stuff that your hair needs to thrive and so guys do include moist um, massaging in your natural hair routine and this these are the three suggestions i have for you as it relates to three reasons why your hair might not be growing. And the first one we, we talked about was your scalp, the health of your scalp. The second one we talk about is length retention. And we talked about hormone and the bonus was ensure that you massage your scalp. And so guys, before you leave, I have a question for you. I want you to comment below and tell me and answer my question. 
So I did wrote my question down. So I'm looking to see what did I write? Okay. So the question for you and you today, guys, is what do you guys do in order to see hair growth or to achieve hair growth? Let me know, guys, in the comment section. And if you like this video, if this video has been informative, please share, like the video so that we can grow this community together. Remember to put God first in everything you do, guys, and he will direct your path. It's not just the saying. It is what he does. Bye, guys. Blessings.